Good day, grade 11s. Um, today we are going to look at reduction formula. Um, what do we do here? You have seen that um, the angle in the first quadrant is related to the angles that are found in the other quadrants. So that means we can replace an angle that is in the second quadrant, third quadrant, or fourth quadrant with an angle that is in the first um, quadrant. Now let's just go over the the four quadrants like um, we did before this is quadrant one this one is two quadrant two this one is quadrant three and this is quadrant four now in quadrant one we said um, all the trig functions are positive in quadrant two only sine is positive meaning cos and tan are negative and then on um, the third quadrant, tan is positive, meaning sine and cos are negative. And then uh, fourth quadrant, it's only cos that is positive, meaning sine and tan are positive. And then also remembering that we said angles that are in the first quadrant are your acute angles, theta. And then to find an angle in the second quadrant, it will be 180 minus theta. I explained why that is. And then... Um, third quadrant it's 180 plus theta and then fourth quadrant is 360 minus theta so we are going to make use of this diagram um, to do our reduction okay if you look at um, if maybe we can use theta which is equals to 30 if you punch this in your calculator sine 30 is going to be equals to uh, 0 0.5 and then if you do sine 150 uh, 150 which is in the second quadrant it is also 0 0.5 and as expected because sine is positive here and it is also positive there so we are expecting that the answers are going to be the same and now if you notice 150 is actually 180 minus 30 which is a true representation of what is happening here so one uh, 150 minus 30 which is in the first quadrant is going to give you the 150 um, and then sine 210 210 is equals to 0 point, negative 0 0.5. Now, if you check here, 210 is in the third quadrant. And in the third quadrant, sine is negative. Okay, so um, that is why we are expecting uh, the answer to be negative. Okay, and then the 0 0.5 is just coming from that um, uh, 210 is actually 180 plus um, 30. So that means that the 30 and the 210 are in a relationship um, uh, because of that 180. And then lastly, uh, sine 330, 330 is equals to negative 0 0.5. And then this one is in the fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant sine is negative. That is why the sine here is negative. So the sine in front of the 0 0.5 is as expected according to the the quadrants so um that means if i have a situation like um if i have sine 150 if i'm asked to reduce i can replace this 150 with um the 30 because i have seen that they give me the same answer if i have sine 210 i can replace it with sine 30 but respecting the sine um, that is um, the sign uh, given by the quadrant. So that means uh, 210 is the same as uh, sign 30. I mean, sign 210 is the same as sign 30, but because it is in the third quadrant, then I have to write the minus. Okay, so the replacement uh, that we are doing here is called um, a reduction. So when we reduce, you write the bigger angle in terms of the smaller angle that is in the first quadrant uh, so we reduce in ten, or we write the angle in terms of um, an angle which is in the first quadrant and as you can as you have seen um, this one is your reference angle so all these angles the theta here is referring to this theta in the first quadrant the theta there is referring to that theta the theta here is referring to that theta so all three quadrants two three four are in relation to quadrant one that's why we reduce all of them to the angle that is in the first quadrant okay so this is um in general what we mean i have done a summary uh, for you
Okay, so let's look at an example on, on how to do this reduction. Okay, um, I've got a few examples. I hope uh, it's not going to take a while. Okay, first example says reduce um, tan 180 plus theta. So now the first thing that you are going to do is to do your analysis. Where does this lie? Okay, so um, this one, 180 plus theta, if I check here, it is in the third quadrant. Okay, that's step number one. Step number two, write the sign of tan in that quadrant. Okay, I check here, tan in third quadrant is positive. Okay, then replace tan bracket um, with tan theta, um, which is, I mean, the theta is in the, the angle that is in the first quadrant. So that means my final answer is going to be this positive that I have here and then tan theta, which I find in the first quadrant. So that means this is equal to that. Okay, so um, if you already have it, um, you don't need to write this positive uh, tan theta. Okay, now let's look at the second example. We've got um, this one says simplify as far as possible. You have sine 180 plus theta times um, cos 180 minus theta. Um, yeah, all of that. So in each case, you have to first do an analysis where each bracket is found. Okay, 180 plus theta is in the third quadrant. So third quadrant sine is negative. So that's what I do. I write sine and then I replace the bracket um, with theta. Okay. Then cos 180 minus theta, 180 minus theta is in the second quadrant. What is the sign in the second quadrant for cos? Cos is negative in the second quadrant. Then you replace 180 by theta. Okay. And then uh, uh, 180 minus theta, you replace it by theta. And then you've got uh, cos, this one, in the third quadrant. Third quadrant, you check again. Third quadrant, cos is negative. That's why I've written negative here. And then you replace the bracket with theta. And then again, we've got um, sine 180 minus theta. 180 minus theta is in the second quadrant. Second quadrant, sine is positive. So that means this is going to be positive sine theta. Okay. Then now we, we have reduced, as you can see, there are no more brackets. We just have theta, which is in the first quadrant. So that means now we can do our multiplication. Negative times negative is positive. So that's why here now I don't have anything. And then sine times cos is sine cos. And then cos times sine is still sine cos. Then now because I have something which is common top and bottom, I can cancel. And then the answer that remains is negative 1. So it's not complicated as long as you remember this. As long as you remember this, then you are fine. Uh, uh, remembering where each trig function is positive, it's going to help you. Okay. Now, uh, if you look at the third example, this one, uh, we've got tan square theta, right? There's no reduction that needs to happen here because already this is theta, this is this. So when it, the reduction only needs to happen if the angle that is next to the trig function is a bracket or an angle that is more than 90 degrees. Okay. So if you look here, that means I'm on the third quadrant. So I do my analysis. Third quadrant tan is positive. Okay. So that means this is going to be positive tan theta times positive tan theta. Okay. You see that I have written tan squared bracket as tan bracket times tan bracket so that it's easy for me uh, to do my substitution. So um, that's what I've done first. Um, even this side. Um, this I did so that as we go on with our um, uh, calculations, you will be able to know what the square means. Uh, but it doesn't mean that we needed to do a reduction here. Okay, so uh, la, we have to reduce because we have a bracket. So tan is positive in the third quadrant, so it's just going to be positive, and then we replace bracket with theta. And then again, tan is positive in the third quadrant, you replace bracket with theta. So that's, that's all that you do. 
and then tan theta times tan theta is equals to tan squared theta tan theta times tan theta is equals to tan squared theta and then you've got that minus that which gives you zero so uh, basically uh, that is what your reduction is all about okay write the following as acute angles okay now we've got a number instead of just the bracket so that means the number you first have to find out where that number is so we've got sine uh, 310 so 310 according to our um okay remember that this is this is zero this is 90 this is 180 270 and 360 um degrees so um if you check 310 i've already passed to 270 that means i'm on the fourth quadrant so um 310 it means it is in the fourth quadrant so my angles that are in the fourth quadrant are calculated like this so it's 360 minus theta so that means since sine is negative in the fourth quadrant I'm going to write minus respecting the quadrant so sign is negative so now I need to find out because what is it going to I mean what is 310 going to reduce to in the first quadrant so you can just do um, that this 310 is actually 360 minus theta and then you solve for theta so 360 minus uh, theta is equals to 310 so theta is equals to 50 and then you write that here Okay, so this working is not necessary, even if you don't show it, um, I'll be okay. When we ask you to reduce, actually, um, you just move from there to there and then you get your mark if you've already mastered it. But now, for starters, uh, you can show this calculation on the side if you need. Okay, the last example, tan 235. 30, 235 is between 180 and 270, so that means it, it is in the third quadrant okay so tan in the third quadrant is positive so that means it's going to be positive here that's why i haven't written a sign it's positive tan theta so now i need to find the theta so uh, angles in the third quadrant are calculated like that 180 plus theta so you solve your small equation there 180 plus theta is equals to 235 and then um, you solve again for theta and then theta comes out as um, 55. So that means tan 235 is actually equals to tan 55. You can put this in your calculator, put that in your calculator and check if it doesn't give you the same answer. Okay, I hope um, that it is clear. So what you do when you reduce, first you find the quadrant where um, the bracket or the number that you have here is, then you write the sign that, um, that trick function is going to have in that quadrant and then you just replace the big number by i mean the bracket by theta or you replace the big number by theta which you now have to work out um, in cases like this so i hope it is clear please do exercise one number uh, one b d f g h i and number two c d as well as number i mean exercise three these um, exercises Okay, thank you.